Recently we visited this abandoned church, tucked away in the hills of Donegal, forgotten in time. A 170 year old structure just waiting to be explored. This church was built in the mid 1800s on the same site as an older church and graveyard that was built over a hundred years prior. On the grounds of the church a rather unique headstone stands. This cross, decorated with chain and anchor, was erected by the wife of Captain Cochrane, for whom the church adorned. The cross bears an inscription of particular intrigue as it lists a history going all the way back as far as the earldom of Dundonald. As we enter inside, we see where time has stood still. When people left and nature took over, a family of birds have made their nesting place here, right next to the large door that takes us into the main sermon hall. We see a very unique colour scheme. A bright blue and pink hue softly reflects around the hall as the colours are moved around by the soft light coming through the ornate stained glass windows above the altar. We can relive what the parishioners would have once seen when the church was still full of life. While some of the windows are now broken, the most of them are still hanging on as if in hope of one day the halls would be filled once again. We imagine what sounds the large roof would have reverberated and our imagination runs free as we make our way to one side of the church. In a side room hidden out of sight lies a sleeping secret. An old yet still very charming organ. Time has taken its toll, but it still stands proudly, waiting in hope for a musician to one day bring it to life once again. Its keys are stuck and its strings are now slack. The ornate switches still protrude from the body, showing off its choice of music, but there is no one to play. We can imagine the songs of praise that would have once filled the halls, but today this church sits in silence. Sermons that were once read to many are no longer heard. Joyous occasions that were once shared by families are no longer celebrated. In the future, no one will walk down these aisles, and today only the dust now dances at the altar.
This video marks our third and most likely final visit to this little church, as we let it live out its final days in peace. Eventually, it will surrender itself to nature, and like many churches before it, it will be reduced to another historical relic of rural Ireland's scenic backdrop. Thank you.